Well, many of the comments I've received state that charges are always full. People need to queue. Others claim the Tesla opening up the supercharging network to non-Teslas will create huge queues. But for most of this year, I've driven around much of the country, tested out charges from all the networks. I can state that I've not had to queue, not even once this year. And on occasions, rugby services for example, I deliberately went there at peak time. Well, Dave takes it on, looks here at the rise of the mega hubs, where 12 or more chargers or charging bays are located, and takes a snapshot view of availability, or, or lack thereof. Well, as a Tesla driver, I have to say I have been spoiled by the supercharging network. From the day I got my Model S four years ago, I've become used to finding around about 12 chargers everywhere I go. Yeah, there are some locations where there are far fewer. Locally, I've got Warrington, the Park Royal. It's a hotel, and in the car park, there are just two of the old V2 chargers. Well, there, I guess, if ever I went there, I would probably have to queue. Well, likewise, Leed, Leeds Village Resort, with the same two uh, V2 chargers, and I have used them in previous years, not recently, and I have in previous years queued there. But generally, I turn up to find a dozen or more chargers everywhere I go. Well, until recently, that is. Both Tesla and GridServe have been on an installation spree and turning charger stations into mega hubs. The largest, to my knowledge, is at Exeter Motorway Services, with 32 Tesla V3s and 18 GridServe 350 kilowatt chargers. So the question arises, do these mega hubs work? Are they constantly full or are there loads of empty bays just waiting for you? And when are they busy or full? Is it peak time? Sundays? Well, this video is an introduction to a series that will take a snapshot of 10 mega hubs around the country, not all Tesla, and track them for a period of 24 hours to see what they actually do. Can I identify when you should avoid them or find the best time to go there to find vacant chargers? Well, we'll see. Well, for this introduction, I just look at 10 a.m. on a Monday morning, this morning, 30th of October, and I've chosen a dozen locations, including BP Pulse Mega Hub near Birmingham, Instavolt Hubs near Banbury and Bodmin, GridServe at Exton Rugby, to name just a few. Well, let's start with the biggest Exeter Moto Motorway Services on the M5 in Devon. It's easily the largest in the UK to date, with GridServe offering 18. 350 kilowatt CCS2 units plus six 60 kilowatt units and two 22 kilowatt type 2 units. That's a total of 26 grid serve charges in one single location. And that is impressive, but there's far more. Tesla on the same site has 32 V3 250 kilowatt charges there also making the grand total of 58 chargers on this one single site. So, for those of you who say there aren't any chargers, aren't enough chargers, think again. Now, they may not be in the location you want them to be in, but they are definitely out there. Now, just one word of explanation. If I state that a certain number are free, and then that differs from what you see on the screen, my screenshots at some locations, I have to say the number is constantly changing. And in those cases, I might photograph one time, look back and find a different reading. So I'll take an average reading. It's not me getting it wrong. So at 10 a.m. Monday the 30th of October 2023, there is just one 350 kilowatt available, 060 kilowatt, and both type uh, two 22 kilowatt charges free at the grid surf side. This site is pretty crammed. So just how representative this is over entire 24 hours, we'll see in later videos. But at this time, it's a definite please avoid and try another, t another time. Well, the Tesla supercharger is exclusive to Teslas at this time. So this has 24 chargers out of 32 available. 
and the current price is 37 pence for Tesla drivers. It is way too soon to make anything of this disparity. Time will tell in future videos. Well, heading to the next largest mega hub, Rugby, just off the M6, another Moto, motorway services. There are 12 grid serve 350 kilowatt, and four of those are available. However, to be fair, just moments before, there were eight available. Now, just a few yards away are the original 12 Tesla V3 chargers, plus an additional 16 newly installed units, so 28 in total, and 16 were available. And the current charge is 36 pence per kilowatt hour. Uh, there are no lower power or Type 2 sockets here. Well, heading closer to home, Manchester has 18 Tesla V3 chargers, and there are no similar power grid serve chargers nearby. Manchester Trafford Centre is open to all EVs and had just three stalls available. This is a very busy site and I would suspect far more charges will be added in the very near future. Current price is 31p but for anyone who is around between midnight and 4am they were down at 25 pence per kilowatt hour. That's less than the standard tariff electricity at home. If you can't charge at home, head here once a week. A brand new grid serve hub opened this week in, at the Moto Services on the M56 near Chester. I will be filming later this week for a series of videos. There are 12 350 kilowatt units, three 50 kilowatt units, and one Type 2 22 kilowatt. Out of the 12 chargers available, 350 kilowatts, eight were vacant, and just one of the 50 kilowatt was also vacant. If we go over to Norwich, that's a grid serve hub, they've got 22 350 kilowatt and 6 22 kilowatt type 2. 17 of the 350s were free and all of the type 2s. Tesla has no mega hub nearby, although there are several superchargers with 8 250 kilowatt close by. I have to own up, I'm not including CHAdeMO units at the moment. It gets very complicated because some of the grid serve chargers have both, but you can only use one at a time. Now, Banbury is home to both Tesla and Instavolt, but not grid serve. Uh, they've got just six 350 kilowatt chargers at Cherwell Services nearby. Instavolt Hub advertises 30 chargers. But sad to say, none of them are above 160 kilowatt, most are 120, and all are at the huge 85 pence per kilowatt hour they've recently introduced. Not surprisingly, 26 are available and one is out of service. Tesla nearby has 7 of 12 available. Now heading way up north, T-Bay Services, one of my favourites, on the M6 has 12 V3 chargers, Grid serve is busy installing there, but nothing big as yet, not connected. Tesla had four out of 12 available. Now, if we head right up into Scotland, we see Edinburgh has 12 Tesla V3 chargers available out of 16. And again, current price, nice low 38p. Well, coming right down to earth, I include the huge mega hub installed by BP Pulse at the NEC car park near Birmingham. 150 Type 2 7 kilowatt chargers available in one car park and 40 in another, but at a ridiculous price of 59 pence per kilowatt hour for a Type 2. I don't think anyone would be surprised to discover that 49 out of 50 in one car park and 145 out of 150 in the other are vacant. Time will tell if this is the trend or the price is destroying their popularity. Well, I hope this snapshot has given you an idea of what is happening in the mega hub world. We have to accept that apart from GridServe and Tesla, there are no other networks regularly offering what we EV drivers want, which is quite simply plenty of ultra rapid chargers at a sensible price with some always vacant waiting for us. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It makes such a huge difference to a small channel like this. I'm Dave.